Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So today what I want to talk to you guys about is dyslexia and uh, how different people with dyslexia have different types of, um, I guess, skills that they work with, that they have to deal with. Some people with dyslexia um, have more problems with math. Some people with dyslexia have more problems with reading and writing. Um, and I wanted to talk about um, how some people have problems with both. So, and how the school system is not really, it's really failing, failing those kids that have dyslexia. Because when you fail those kids with dyslexia, then they lose faith and hope within themselves. And then they, sometimes they just have a really miserable life because <laughs> they can't pull themselves out of that uh, fact that they're so much different from people and how they process information. So <clears throat> I'm smoking on OG Kush. And I've talked about uh, dyslexia on my channel. I have like a few videos on it. I'm going to try to, if I get enough videos, I'll probably just make it into a, a playlist so you can go to it easily. But the reason why I'm doing another video too today is because um, it seems like a lot of people are interested in the topic of uh, dyslexia and cannabis. There's not enough research being done about it, as I've said in past videos. <clears throat> and so I think what would help if people that actually experience uh, have this condition, have dyslexia, and smoke cannabis, and find that cannabis helps with dyslexia, then they should um, share their story. I'm not pushing you to share your story, but it's helpful. The more people speak out, the more um, awareness is brought to the situation. And the more compassion can be given to children at the very foundation um, who have you know, show signs of dyslexia at an early age. A lot of people who, dis who experience dyslexia have a lot of um, insecurities. I did as a child. <clears throat> I uh, talked about this before, how I was really um, hammered when it came to learning words. Um, to the point where I would hold my pencil so tight that I have a deformity in my finger. Like giving you the middle finger or anything, but that's the finger. But it's all bent and the fingernail is bent from that, from that extreme um, tactic of having me learn the skill of writing and memorizing words. Now I'm like a walking dictionary, <laughs> but it was a very extreme measure to take in order to get me to keep up with all the other kids in the class. Um, a lot of times people with dyslexia, especially at a long, younger age, um, they'll have problems with math and they can't add numbers in their head really fast or subtract a lot of numbers in their head really fast. So uh, I think that, at least in my case when I was younger, the uh, need to please, the need to succeed was always drilled in my head. So um, as I got older, I still felt self-conscious about my inability to add and subtract numbers really fast in my head. Um, like larger digit, not just one digit numbers, but two digit and, and on. <laughs> I was having the hardest time with it. So as I became a teenager, I decided when I moved to California, I decided to get a job eventually um, at a fast food place and I, so what ended up happening is they placed me as a cashier. And I'm like, that's the best place for me. <laughs> so um, surprisingly enough, I got really good with counting money. I got really good with counting numbers because I was doing it over and over again. And I got used to the idea of seeing certain numbers pop up after I add or subtract. You know, I was like, oh, okay, so that when you, add these two numbers together, and you get this. So I got really, really good at it. <clears throat> I still felt really insecure and self-conscious about it because I was not, I was, I didn't feel like I was fast enough, you know, in my mind of calculating numbers. 
as I got older, um, I was still feeling a little bit uh, like I wasn't as smart as everyone else because of this flaw, what I saw as a flaw. But um, I just kind of like kept going on about my business and it seemed like every job that I was getting, I ended up becoming a cashier in some capacity. <laughs> I think the people who experience um, <coughs> dyslexia <coughs> and at the young age, if they're not nurtured, if they're not um, encouraged, if they're not um, if they're not listened to, then they have a hard time at getting through life. They really do. If they don't have a c compassionate ear, if they don't have patience, people that are patient around them, then. Um, it becomes a very stressful and sad life. I found <coughs> cannabis to be <coughs> a tremendous help, tremendously helpful <laughs> with um, dyslexia because it really does, and I've said this so many times, it makes me slow down and not feel like I have a deadline when I'm reading you know, or a deadline when I'm trying to take in information. Um, I think maybe a lot of dyslexics like to work at a slower pace and take in information at their own pace, not at someone else's pace. And see, that doesn't categorize people with dyslexia as being uh, dumb or less intelligent than anyone else. It just means that we have a different way of learning and taking in information. <clears throat> I'll go into this maybe on another video, but there's a time where we didn't even have written language. So, um, <laughs> the idea of being dyslexic it probably was unheard of at that time. There was a time where people were more nurturing and caring and really genuinely listened to children and their problems and what they're going through. Um, these days, people are rushing all over the place. And it wasn't any different when I was a kid. My mom was rushing all over the place. Um, it was just go, go, go kind of society, a living situation. So we're slowly, I think we're slowly getting out of that. So, all right. Thank you for joining me today for my talk on cannabis and dyslexia, specifically focusing on children at a young age and you noticing that and nourishing them and, and letting them learn at their own pace. <clears throat> and how, for me, cannabis has helped tremendously. It's helped me to realize that I have a lot of gifts. You know, I have a lot of gifts to give, and I'm not good at everything, and I don't think everybody needs to be. So, yeah. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. They mean a lot to me. Alrighty guys, take care. Peace.